I kicked in the door last time, remember? Crack house? You're trying to know it. You're closer to the door. All right, let's both get it. Good idea. You first. Brought to you by Improved Ultra Pampers Plus, the only diaper with the air dry system, because healthy skin begins with dry skin. I tell my patients that it's important that they not only get a diaper that protects against leaks, it's important that a diaper keep a baby's skin dry. And dryness helps to promote healthy skin. These issues are more important to me because I'm Ashley's father. Introducing a diaper with the air dry system. Different because now the top sheet has air pockets right underneath, so it can absorb irritating wetness almost instantly. Wetness goes down into a lockaway pore. Air goes up, leaving the top sheet so dry you can prove it with powder. Ashley likes the diaper very well. If a parent were to ask me, I would recommend this diaper. What a great improvement. Today's Ultra Pampers Plus with the air dry system. Because healthy skin begins with dry skin. Hernia, how can you tell? You didn't even ask me to cough. No need to. That bad, huh? That bad. Oh, if there was any more of you hanging out of that chair, we'd have to give it a name. Oh, okay, so give me some pills and something to rub on it, and I'm out of here, right? Harry. Oh, wait. Cutting? Surgery? No, 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 no. no. Don't, don't hernias go away by themselves, kind of heal up? Harry. <sighs> It'll only get worse. Multiply the pain you're feeling by about 10. If we don't treat it, if some hernias become incarcerated. That causes an obstruction in the intestine. It can endanger your life. I can live with that. Look, I can't force you to do this. Go home and think about it. In the meantime, I want you to wear this truck for comfort. Thanks anyway, Bruce, but I can't wear that thing. Uh-uh. No, if a woman sees me in a truck, that picture will be permanently etched on the romantic lobe of her brain, and my days of horizontal pleasure are over. Harry, they will be yesterday. Just a hernia, Harry. Oh, just on. a hernia. Just a hernia. Let me tell you something. My uncle checked into a hospital for just knee surgery. He had a bad reaction to his medication and passed within 48 hours. Dead. Gone. There's no way I'm going under the knife. Absolutely no way. Scared shitless. Be right, buddy. Look at my day happened to my aunt. She died in the hospital, too. And so now my uncle's a widower and your aunt's a widow. I guess they've seen it all. 
They got plenty of time, Mom. Red spouses and maids in that box. Somebody should have her check, sister. Stand in front of me, will you? She keeps riding up. I ain't pulling that thing down. Just shut up and shield me. Hold for me. A moment. Sure, Cap. Captain, you want to speak to me? Peppermint, how's it growing? Oh, that, uh, nothing, nothing at all. I uh, just a little full, that's all. I feel great, really. Perfect. Good. I just wanted to check and see because, um... Would you get that for me, please? Uh, here, why don't you use mine? I want that one. Bend over and get me that one. <clears throat> Thank you. You're welcome. You're off duty. What? Hooperman, by not taking care of this and continuing to carry out your duties as a police officer, you're not only jeopardizing yourself, your fellow officers, but also the people we serve. Take an immediate sick leave. And don't come back until your pelvic area is perfect. That means your intestines are inside your body. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. May I say just one more thing? Then, could you help me out? How much is I know you're a bit nervous. First time surgery patients usually are, and that's understandable. But don't give it another thought. Now you just wait right in here, and I'll go see if your bed's ready. You better watch out. They stole my gold watch last night. My husband gave it to me for our 50th. It's not enough. This place took my gallbladder. But now, Mrs. Packett, you know we're doing our best to find your watch. Right this way, Mr. Hooperman. It is a bit embarrassing. There have been a few robberies, minor robberies here at Golden Gate Hospital, but you just set your valuables with us. They'll be safe. Back to your bed. This is Mr. Ellis. Hello, Mr. Ellis. He's in a state of semi-consciousness. At least he won't keep you up at night chatting. Your closet and the bathroom. Now, you just put on this little gown, and we'll be in to see you later. If you need anything, just ring. Friends call me Jeff. You can call me Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm your neighbor across the hall. What you in for? Me? I smashed up a wheel. I dropped my bowling ball. Smack on it. Perfect strike. I broke ten bones in my foot. <laughs> Never drink and bowl. Taught me a lesson. <sighs> Got a bunch of steel pins in it now. I guess I'm a hazard at airports. <laughs> Listen, there's some things you should know about this place. Uh, no matter how hungry you get, stay away from the multicolored meat. Uh, never ring for a night nurse. They're usually wide bodies. <laughs> and uh, don't trust them, man. They're overworked and underpaid. I hide my valuables in the bedpan. Nobody wants to reach in there. <laughs> so who's counting on you? Jersey? Too bad. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll see you around the campus.
I'm Harry Hooperman. Terrific. How about some TV? Okay. That's that. What little TV? Gotta get my mind off of it. Anything special you want to watch? How about the return of the mummy, huh? I'm sorry. Just gonna get into places like this. I don't know what it is. The smell of the doctor. Start working on it. You know? Can you hear me? Oh, God, you can't hear me. There ought to be a limit to what they can remove from a person. Don't mind me. Just ignore me now. I'm just having a little trouble here. I guess we're stuck with the hospitals now. Is that okay with you, King Pat? Hmm? Sorry. As you can see, the new heart is positioned and ready to take its place in the open chest cavity. The rib retractor is used to pull back the rib cage and expose the pericardial sac. Whoa, that's it. I keep spurting. I'm out of here. Mr. Hooperman, you can't... Nice set. Oh, if you call long distance with U.S. friends, you can afford to talk to more relatives than ever before. Save up to 10, 20, even 30 percent. Pick up the phone right now. Call U.S. Sprint and switch. You know when you're a slump and it gets stained on your favorite shirt? Oh, I hate that. Me too. So I really love this new thing called Stain Guard. It's a breakthrough. I know, you've heard it before. But it really is terrific. It's, you know what it does? No, wait, you hear what it does. It actually helps your clothes become stain resistant. Isn't it great? Not stain resistant. Now you're probably wondering. Does, does it really, it really work? work? So we have this little thing to say. Check this out. Bacon grease on polyester fabric. Can you imagine? But the Stain Guard kept the stain from setting. So it washes right out. Impressed? Yeah, I'm impressed. So shall we show them where to get it? Ta-da! New bounce with Stain Guard. Isn't it wild? Now you can fight stains before you get them. New bounce with Stain Guard. Stains get on, but they don't stay in. There's only one place you'll find this 73-piece Craftsman Mechanics Tool Set. All for only $59.99. It's made in America. And that by a warranty that lasts forever. Find it now, only at Sears. Here's Gavin to Texas that everybody talking about Saturday night. Blow him away! What about the mess? It's your turn to discover the delightful mysteries of Murphy's Law. And... What comes in one? No, two colors. Looks good in nylon and never needs winding. It's the toy. And what? Jackie Gleason, Richard Pryor, Saturday. Mr. Hooperman, you're the first person who ever made it all the way to the curb in that outfit. It was a pretty clean break. What made you come back? Wind chill factor. Well, you be a good boy. We don't want to have to tie you down. I'm here to save you. I just saved five minutes ago. I'm here to save you. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I, I got a little pain in here, nurse. Ah, you can Ooh. Yeah, that, that's the hernia right there. In that area. Mm-hmm. Couldn't we have gone electric on this? Why don't you just read something? I, I really don't want to be looking elsewhere, if you know. Suit yourself. Well, you certainly have a pretty interesting job. What does Mr. Uh, Jordan, Jordan do when he works? You definitely couldn't support two people doing this. Loan broker. <clears throat> well, I, I, I was just um, saying that based on Mr. Jordan's job being a loan broker, 
and all. Uh, do you feel, personally speaking, that a fixed or an adjustable loan would be better? Because, you see, I'm sort of in the market for a new... Hey, hey, hey. That's some bull. You know, I'm not accusing Nurse Jordan. I'm just saying that my watch turned up missing right after okay. I was saved. I told you what to do with your valuables, Mr. Hooperman. It's your own fault. You know, you people have a bit of an attitude. Hi, Hoop. Mo! Oh, boy, am I glad to see you. You are here to see me, aren't you? Yes. I was hoping to get here before the operation, but you don't look too bad. I haven't had it yet. I knew that. And that's why Come on. you don't look too bad. Let's go in here. You can keep on tearing me up. pretty tight about this thing, aren't you? I am. It's just kind of being in this place so close to death, and in a few minutes I'll be even closer. Well, what if I die on the table? It, it's happened before. People die from stuff. You're not going to die. I could. And if I did, that would be... a bummer. There's so much I haven't done. So many things I'll never get to do. I've never gotten married. I have children. I own my own home with a backyard. You know, I never finished college. And I never sipped a Mai Tai in Hawaii. I never caught a marlin. I had breakfast in Paris, a run with the bulls at Pamplona, a visit to Lennon's tomb. Harry, have they given you any medication? Mo, can you stay? I mean, for a while, until... Of course, it's nice to have someone here. Sure, Harry, you stay. Until I know you're all right. You're not... Can I have your record collection? Did they save you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mr. Hickman? Cell phone. Inspector. I'm Dr. Chad. I'm going to be assisting Dr. Gervitz. Your assistant. You know what? It's Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. I'll take very good care of you next time.
Superman. Oh, I mean, people got to show weight. I was just on my way to say that you're the guy who's been ripping everybody off in here. Say we are, you're under arrest. Look, Captain, let's end it, all right? With a good lawyer, you're looking at five to ten years. That's too long. Getting a lot better. That and a good attitude, you'll be fine. You've been a good roommate. You know, even with your clothes on, you still don't look like a cat. Oh, hi. Hi. I heard you were leaving today, so I thought I would come by and see if you meant what you said under the anesthesia. Oh, God, what did I say? Oh, I remember the part about the leather suit and the python. I didn't say that. Well, what was your answer just in case I... <laughs> Don't let it bother you. I hear a lot of weird stuff in the person around us. I'm quite as creative as yours, Inspector Hickman. Harry. Dana. Now, you take care of yourself. And don't lift anything for about 17 years. And take your medication. It's important. Well, um, I've got to go. So, 
I'm glad you're okay. This is, um, would it be all right if I beat you sometime? I mean that in an electronic way. I'd like that. By all means. We asked 100 doctors with sore, aching ribs which pain reliever they'd recommend. They chose the Skill Twist Cordless Power Screwdriver, now available in extra strength. 